You're looking at a uh, Sony. This is the Sony Vio VGNCR 39E, I believe it is. RC, I think that stands for red color. Look at that. Oh, this thing is nice. It looks really nice. If you like red, then you're gonna be in heaven with this. It's a dual core powered uh, notebook as well. It's got a 1.6 gigahertz dual core. It also has two gigabytes of RAM. Thank you, Sony, for two gigabytes of RAM because that really gives you the elbow space, the uh, all the room that you need to move around, especially with Windows Vista Home Premium. Now, Windows Vista Home Premium, that is also very cool because uh, with Home Premium, you get Media Center. Media Center allows you to organize all of your digital life. And that's pretty much the way a lot of us live these days. We don't even have real lives anymore. We just have digital lives with pictures and videos and uh, web content, MP3s. And also, if you pick up an optional adapter, you can get a USB to coax or antenna adapter, allowing you to plug up your uh, TV to the laptop. And this is cool. Now, when you pick up one of these, you get it on our website, you plug it in, and you can watch TV on this 14.1 inch widescreen monitor. Not only can you watch it, you can rewind it, you can pause it, and you can record it to the hard drive, just like a TiVo unit. And uh, that's a very cool thing. How big is the hard drive? That's the next question you're thinking. And I go, oh, you know, with all that video, well, you have a 200 gigabyte hard drive, and on top of that, you also have a DVD burner in this unit. So even if you record all kinds of TV shows, you can keep cataloging them to DVDs. And it's also nice to have a DVD burner on a unit like this uh, because you know, if you want to make something, edit it, send it to grandma, send it to your friends. Well, you can burn them a DVD on this unit as well. Now, this is a media monster. It's really, really, really made to handle media, even when it turned off. I'll get to that in just a second. That's really cool. But one more thing I want to point out right here is on the top of this, there's a 1.3 megapixel web camera, the Motion Eye. Right there it is. Now, it's very sleek. It's integrated into the frame of the, uh, the monitor there. So it's, you know, it's not gonna get scratched or anything when you close it, it's all, uh, it's, it's a lot easier than having one of the clip-on ones. So I like having it integrated and that also keeps you in touch with all your friends and family while you're traveling and also if you need to do some web conferencing, well, it's already a part of this laptop unit. You're not gonna have to go out and buy any additional uh, hardware or even software, it comes with it all in the box. All right, I'm gonna go through all the uh, ports on this unit so you can start thinking about what you're gonna be able to plug up to this and then I'll show you how you can uh, use some of the media capabilities even when the system is turned off, which is really awesome if you want to listen to a uh, CD or watch a DVD. Now come on over to the front. Notice that it's nice and sleek across the front here. All right, going through the ports, the ins and outs, starting on the side here, that's the wireless on and off switch right there, which is kind of handy, keep people out. Now it's off. Um, right here, we have headphones and microphone. If you want to hook up a headset, you can plug it in right there. You can also use this to uh, power speakers. Well, not power them, but hook up speakers. Uh, that is the iLink. Some call it a Firewire. Sony refers to this as the iLink or the IE1394 for hooking up your camcorder and editing your footage. Here we have two USB 2.0 ports on this side. We also have uh, S-Video and VGA here. Now you can run dual monitors with the VGA. You can use the uh, laptop LCD as your primary and use this as your secondary or even make this your primary. This is also nice to have on the side in case you wanted to uh, display a presentation on a projector. You can use either one of these. On the back here, if you're still using dial-up, you can use this. This is your uh, modem port right there. All the way around to the other side, that's where you plug it up for power. Keep on moving around. There's uh, Ethernet right there. And uh, beyond that, we have another USB 2.0 port. And there's that DVD writer. And then up in the front, we have um, the expansion card slot. And right there, that's for your memory cards. SD, uh, Sony memory stick, and XD as well. So you can plug them in right there. It's nice to have. Now, let's take a look at some of the features of the keyboard. Now, let me open it up here. Right up here at the top, take a look at all these buttons. Uh, these are your media shortcuts, and uh, these are really cool because you can use them inside Windows uh, to mute, you know, to change the volume. Uh, you can use it to capture. Uh, this will also work to record. Use this to capture. Use this to turn your display on and off, which is nice to save power. And then over here, this is AV mode. When you're in the uh, computer, this can be used to open up your favorite audio video uh, uh, program or your favorite media program. Now, let me show you what happens when I power this computer down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off real quick. So bear with me. All right, so I'm shutting the system down here just so I can show you how cool AV mode is when it's turned off. All right, now the computer's turned off and maybe you wanna look at some of your pictures, listen to your music, 
that's on your hard drive or watch a DVD or something like that. Well, you come up and you press the AV mode button that's on the top that I showed you a minute ago. Press that and uh, even when it's off, so I just press the AV mode button and this is how it looks when the computer is off. It gives us these options. You can listen to a CD or DVD, you can listen to your music, view your photos, and you can even start Windows right from this command line. And you can just use the arrow keys to navigate back and forth. Uh, I'm gonna go over and watch a DVD, so let me show you how this works. Moving on over here. All right, press enter there. All right, here we go, I just put in a DVD. And like I said, even though we're not in the Windows operating system, we're watching it just like it's a portable DVD player. This is excellent for planes, it's excellent for uh, anybody who wants to save a little power, and it's excellent for anybody who wants instant gratification without having to wait for uh, Vista to load. So there you have it, a very cool, powerful laptop uh, from our friends at Sony. And like I said, if you like red, well, you're in business. If you like media, you're in business. If you like business, you're in business. It's really the best of both worlds because it gives you enough power to do some multitasking. And it also has the very cool uh, you know, media features. And with the AV mode, even when the, you're, not, you're not in Windows, you're still gonna be able to have access to all your pictures, videos, uh, movie files, and even your music files. So, very cool system from Sony. See you next time. For more information on this Sony Bio notebook in the color of red, go to compusa.com and type S168-14007 or call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.